Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 11th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Something to Weep About. You may never have entertained this thought or been troubled about it, or perhaps you're like me and you've often wondered about Israel in God's plans. The twelve tribes are, after all, God's special and treasured possession. They serve a central role in sovereign Yahweh's hands to bring his message of hope and his message of judgment to the world. However, and this is my troubling thought, as followers of Jesus Christ embracing the cross with an uncompromising belief that there's only one way to approach God, and that's through Jesus Christ, according to John 14, 6, that through placing your faith in Jesus, how does that square with God's embracing Israel, which denies the deity of the Son? Admittedly, when I wonder about this, I always feel a little like Peter after the resurrection, when Jesus tells Peter about how the future will not be kind to him, and the impetuous disciple questions Jesus about John's future. Jesus replied in John 21, If I want him to remain until I return, what is that to you? As for you, follow me. The rebuke, it's none of your business, son, is stark, and it's meant to be. Peter's question borders on challenging God's plans, which is to challenge God's sovereignty. Peter was headstrong, which is the beginning of the downward spiral leading to separation between human and God. Peter had to learn that responding with your emotions before putting your brain to work never really ends well. The Apostle Paul's brain seemed to always be on the job. For me, Paul's answer concerning Israel's place in prophecy and God's eternal plans are enough to put my questioning to rest. Romans chapter 9. And concerning Israel, Isaiah the prophet cried out, Though the people of Israel are as numerous as the sand of the seashore, only a remnant will be saved. For the Lord will carry out his sentence upon the earth quickly and with finality. Revelation, in chapter 7, pictures 12,000 from each of the 12 tribes of Israel as being redeemed in the end. That 144,000 is less than 2% of the 8.3 million population of Israel today. And one out of a hundred if you consider an estimated 14 to 15 million Jews globally. For me, this fits together with the point held by many Bible scholars that at the end, there are those who once rejected Christ, but now accept him as Lord, Messiah, the anointed one of the lineage of David. In their hearts, they crown him king of kings. For you today, Jesus told Peter not to worry about what plans God has for other believers. It was Peter's job to follow Jesus, not approve of Jesus' leadership. This is especially important for us with plagues, natural disasters, can we say earthquake, North Carolina, or any of the wars, famine, and other pandemics. These are but the beginning of Christ's new day. Hear it from Jesus' own testimony in Luke 21. So when all these things begin to happen, stand and look up, for your salvation is near. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.